Hi guys, in this video we're going to look into the auto rig tool and how we can kind of automatically create uh, an FKIK rig for our characters here um, so they'll work really nice which will save us a bit of time. We're going to use all that same theory that we looked at before when we were creating joints and IK handles except some of the process is going to be automated. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you've got enough edge loops. Um, so you can see here my character has quite a lot of edge loops around him, not an obscene amount but um, enough to make him smooth. Um, when we bind our skin to our skeleton, um, we need to have enough actual vertices to be able to paint the weights on to get some nice smooth transitions. So this is particularly important around points where it's going to bend like the elbow or the knees, um, the toes, the feet, um, the, the actual main body itself, um, yeah, and the neck. Um, so, uh, first of all, we're going to create a skeleton on the right hand side, and that's going to automatically generate a skeleton for us. So, the, the, the tool that I, I'm using here um, is this one right up here. So, this is the panel that I've got up here. Um, if I just turn off none, um, we've got create skeleton there. So, it's going to cre automatically create a skeleton for us. Um, and then I've got the character that I'm using up here. It is worth noting that um, this is only a, a human skeleton here, so it's human IK that we're looking at. Um, this tool does get used for sort of motion capture and things like that. Um, one of the problems we've got at the moment is that it's absolutely massive. So we can change that. Um, so you can see here that we've got character scale one. So I'm going to type in 0.25, which is going to make this 25, uh, sort of 75 percent smaller. So it's going to be 2.25 of its original size. Okay, which has then shrunk that. Um, but it still needs more. Let's try 0.1 in there. Okay, and let's try that again. 0.1. So we're getting closer now. I've got my x-ray joints turned on so I can see them. 0.5, go a little smaller. Okay, so now we're a bit too small. Let's go 1.1. So I'm increasing it now. It's greater than 1. And 1.1 again. Super. That's looking good. We've got a few other things here as well. So you can see that I've got um, these index um, and these are my fingers. So you can see as I tick them off, they're disappearing. I don't need fingers for this character. He doesn't have fingers, so I don't need to worry too much about that. Um, okay, um, now it's not quite how I want. It's not quite fitting in there, so we can now move the joints. We're going to do it on the right hand side here, um, and then we're going to mirror it over. So I'm going to move this over here. I'm now going to hold the D key just to move it without moving anything else. I'm going to move that bone down. I'm going to move this bone backwards and sort of upwards slightly for the heel. And then this is the base of the foot here that I'm going to put here, like the ball of the foot. Okay, I can now click on this part here and I'm going to click this button, which is going to mirror it over the other side there. Okay, so that we're going from the right hand side to the to the left hand side, or if you look from behind, left to right. Okay, um, so we've now got our clavicle bone here that just needs moving out. So this is for our shoulder. So that usually goes around here. Um, this looks fine for the, the actual shoulder itself. We've then got elbow over there, and this is going to be our like hand or our little, going to use it as our little flipper control on the end there. Okay. Just going to move that back ever so slightly and pull that ever so slightly forwards. I have got a bit of an odd sort of bend going on in here, which it might complain about. I could have maybe modeled it slightly different. Okay, so there we go. If we click here and then mirror over there. Okay, great. Lastly, I'm going to move the neck up to get in the right place. And then I'm going to do the same with the, the head itself to be at that base there. Okay, awesome. So I've now got my character, my skeleton here. I'm then gonna select the bones, select the mesh, uh, change to rigging at the top, go up to skin, bind the skin. Um, I'm gonna use a max influences of two or three um, here and then bind that skin. So hopefully it is now bound, looking good. And now what we can do, is we can create 
a control rig from this. So before we had to make all these bones manually, we've had them automatically created for us. We can now create a, a control rig that's going to set up IK on our arms, um, on our spine and our feet as themselves. So I'm going to go over from the skeleton tab here to the definition tab and I'm going to click this little man here which should create a control rig. Um, this one's going to create custom rig mapping. We don't need that one. We're going to click this here. So we're going to create a control rig. And this has now created this little panel on the side and it's changed over here a little bit. So what I've got now is I can select this part here and I can move it and you can see that my feet are fixed and they've got IK on them. So in the past when we've looked at IK, we've not had that there. I've got some issues with my skinning, but generally things are working really nice. Okay, we've got the same, if I select this control here, you can see that's the arms and I can then move these around. So you can see it's done quite a lot of the work for us. It's speeded a lot of things up, um, which is really, really cool. Um, so everything seems to work fine here. Um, you can actually use these little pin controls. So if you, if I grab the elbow here and I move it, you'll notice that it moves my whole body. If I like pin the end, so I'm going to pin the rotation and the translation here and now if I grab that elbow there you can see that it just wiggles the elbow it doesn't wiggle any other part so that part there has now been pinned um, so I can move the, the shoulders around um, as well so I've got a full rig set up here um, I've got a lot of controls over here I can animate all of this and um, it's, it's not taking me very long at all um, so this auto rig tool is really really cool um, for doing that um, which means it will make some of your animation a little bit easier Okay, so in this video, we've looked at um, the rigging process, but from an auto rig perspective. Okay, thank you very much.